How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to fix a lazy eye without surgery. So before we begin, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section and I will get back to you guys with more details. So what is a lazy eye? Lazy eye, also known as amblopia, is an early childhood condition in which a child's eyesight does not develop as it should in the one eye. So with amblyopia, the brain focuses on one eye more than the other, ignoring the lazy eye. If the lazy eye is not worked properly, the nerve cells responsible for vision do not mature properly. So treatment involves glasses, um, eye drops, eye patching, and or vision therapy, you guys. So some symptoms of the lazy eye are blurred vision and poor depth perception. So what can we do to fix the lazy eyes, you guys? I first recommend that you guys go and see an optometrist first to make sure that the problem is actually a lazy eye and not an underlying condition. So here are some exercises that you can do for your lazy eye, you guys. So exercise one, what you want to do is you want to put an eye patch over the good eye. So let's say your right eye is the good eye. You want to put the eye patch over the good eye. Now this will make the bad eye or the lazy eye do all of the work now. This will strengthen the eye and correct it. Some exercises that you can do when the eye patch is over your eye is reading, coloring, crosswords, and word search, you guys. Exercise two, start doing hand-eye coordination exercises such as art activities. These include painting, cutting and pasting objects onto paper, playing video games. I know all of you guys will love that, playing video games, right? Like I love, I used to love playing video games, you guys, you used to love it. Um, some good video games are first person shooters, you guys, Halo, Call of Duty, um, Rainbow Six, all of those games, first person first person shooter or anything that your eyes need to focus and to track exercise three do tracking exercises such exercises include using a pencil or a pen it can be any object really and what you want to do is have the object come closer to you and then farther away so i actually have a pen right here so what happens is you do a tracking exercise i'll show you from the side so just focus on the object coming closer to you and then farther away, closer to you, farther away. Very simple exercise, and um, that is very simple, very easy, and that will work. Another thing that you can do is have the object move side to side as well, as well as diagonally. This will make your eye work, and it's also going to improve your depth perception. Make sure you are using the eye patch as well on the good eye so that the bad eye does all the work and again you can go side to side but you can also move it farther away as you're going side to side so you'll track and you'll also use depth perception as well same with diagonally you can have it come diagonally but you can have it moving farther away as well so it can be diagonal but it can be you can mess around with the depth perception as well. So if you guys do go to an optometrist, again, that is the best route and that's the route I always recommend. Go see a professional first. If he says, yes, you have lazy eye, then what you guys can do is start doing your own research. Follow some, uh, do some research. Uh, allow yourself to find some different exercises that's going to help you because your lazy eye, you guys, it's like a muscle. You can train it. But here's the thing. You have to catch it early on. So the younger you are, the better it's going to be. If you're super old, uh, you have a lazy eye. It's going to be a little bit hard. Is it impossible? Nothing in life is impossible, you guys. So I recommend, again, go to the optometrist first. Make sure it's a lazy eye. Then tell him you guys watch my videos. Maybe uh, suggest some of the exercises that I suggested. Maybe he might say, oh yeah, I, I recommend that. That, that. That's a good idea. Or maybe he might be like, oh no, don't do that. That's a bad idea. But take these with a grain of salt. Try them out. Again, nothing's going to harm you at all by putting an eye patch on and moving a pen, watching, uh, playing video games. Those are common things. It's just people really don't think of doing these. Like how many people actually think of putting an eye patch over and actually utilizing 
the bad muscle in the eye. So end of video, hopefully I did give you guys a few different exercises that you can try out at home. Please subscribe to my channel again if you haven't already. Like the video, share it, follow me on Instagram, dylanberg999. Thank you guys so much.